What's up everybody, Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. So, Xbox One gamers are gonna have a year of console play with Rise of the Tomb Raider, and that, that's great. I think it's fantastic. Uh, and it's one of those situations where if you feel like holding out and waiting, you're gonna be waiting for a whole year to get this game on your PlayStation 4. I actually like this kind of deal. I like something that's gonna drive sales. I know Tomb Raider is an amazing game. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, it was one of the best looking things I've seen on the Xbox One. It just really got me excited when I saw the, the trailers and things they showed in E3. So I'm really looking forward to it. But like I said, if you're going to be waiting for the PlayStation 4 version, you're going to wait for a whole year. And that might be a little too long to wait for some gamers. From what I understand, they're going to reduce the price for the PlayStation 4 to $40 instead of $60. But it's a year, and I'm not waiting for a year. This article is on GameSpot.com. PS4 PC get Xbox Time exclusive Rise of the Tomb Raider in 2016. The new Lara Croft adventure will be a console exclusive to Xbox platforms for one year. Xbox Time exclusive Rise of the Tomb Raider will be out on PC and PS4 in 2016, Square Enix announced today. Specific release dates for those two platforms weren't revealed, but the publisher did offer release Windows. It will be out on PC, specifically Windows 10 and Steam, in early 2016, and on PS4 sometime in holiday 2016. There was no mention of a PS3 version. The Xbox One and Xbox 360 versions, which Microsoft is publishing, remain on track to release on November 10, 2015. Square Enix notes the game will be a console exclusive, quote, for one year after its initial launch, end quote. Last year, there was some confusion about whether Rise of the Tomb Raider would ever make it to a non-Xbox platform. It was announced at Gamescom as a, quote, Xbox exclusive, end quote, but Xbox boss Phil Spencer later clarified that it was merely a timed exclusive, meaning it could come out to other platforms after an unspecified amount of time. This was reiterated back in May. I actually think this is a really good deal. I believe it or not, some people hate it. I think it's actually exciting to see Microsoft do this, and I think it'll be exciting to see Sony do it in the future as well. When you get an exclusive like this that people want to play and they only can play it on your console, it kind of shakes things up. It makes things exciting again. Now, you know, in a perfect world, every game will come out on every platform, but we don't live in a perfect world. We live in a, a, a world that is controlled by money and controlled by profit. And these companies want to make it, and they want to make the profit. And in order to do it, they got to make these deals. And uh, this is one of the good ones. I actually think it's a really good deal. I will be buying this on my Xbox One. Uh, I know the PS4 version will be a little bit cheaper, but it's a year later, so who's going to care? You guys let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think that this year is too long of a wait? Do you think that getting it on PS4 a year later for 40 bucks is a good deal? Let me know in the comments. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button, share the video on social media, and subscribe. I'm the Beastly Gamer. And I'll see you guys next time.